Okay, I have started doing some shading with golden brown to get the contours of the bird be accentuated to get that scale effect. Um, not much on the top because it's a desert planet, very, very bright top sun. So I have concentrated most of the shading to the lower portions of the bird. Um, next up is to use some light brown uh, to cover the rest of the bottom of the bird. Let that set, flip them over, and give them a heavy coat of the light brown on the top. And then a little bit of the white for accents. So that should complete the, the skin of the bird. And then for Tarna herself, I have picked up this, um, this uh, Eight Colors of Face and Skin Tone set uh, from Vallejo. And I'll go in and clean up the edges and accentuate the, um, the uh, shadows from Tarna, who even after I did all that shading effects, um, once I put the flesh tone over it, it kind of mellowed everything out a little bit more than I wanted to. So I'm going to use the, uh, the hand paints to uh, bring out the, <clears throat> the shadows on Tarna. Then I let all of that dry, um, and then I continue working on the ship. Now I've used a gun metal uh, to give it that metal look. Um, and I've left some of the uh, white primer show through on the tops. Once I paint the blue on everything, I'll mask off the blue and get the green eyes, the green tops, and then paint the mouth and the sides uh, white, bright white, put in a little bit of shading, and then put orange over that. And uh, that should be pretty much done at that point. I did pick up uh, some brass rod to use as the tube that goes down into the uh, Pentagon for the base. All right, so I'm gonna put on some light brown on the bird and I'll be right back. Okay, and here is the first coat of uh, light brown on the bottom of the bird starting to really look like the bird from the movie well more from the posters because the movie was just kind of very plain there are a few spots where I need to go back in and do some some more shading uh, this is an iterative process the more layers you do and different colors that you do the better everything is going to look um, just try not to overdo it just like weathering so Here's the bird is starting to really look muscular and is turning into the right color. Um, these are the dark undertones from the shading, but I think the bird is starting to look quite nice. I'm going to go in with some, let's see, I used golden brown, so I'm going to go in with some dark yellow uh, in some of the shadow areas to get yet another tone in there um, and then after that dries I'll flip them over and do the top and give you a take a peek again see you shortly okay the bird has her first full coat of paint on and I figured I would just throw Tarna on there so that you got a nice variation you can see the difference between the skin tone and the bird. Uh, the bird does not have highlights yet, so it's still going to get a little bit lighter on the top. And as you can see, it's already pretty much lighter on the top uh, than on the bottom where the shadows are. And I use the dark yellow on the rough areas of the legs so that that will blend well and will be easy for me to, to paint when once I actually uh, join those two joints, but I think uh, in general 
I'm pretty happy with the color. It's still, like I said, just a little bit on the dark side. So I'm going to go in and do highlights after this dries and cures. Um, while I'm waiting for that, it's time for the first coat of blue on the spaceship. Be back in a few. Okay, so I used a combination of Arctic blue for all the darker areas. Actually gave a full coat for that. And then I mixed some white with uh, silver matte. Um, to get a little bit more of the highlights going on, although because both the Arctic Blue and the Gunmetal Undercoat are metallic, I get a really nice shine out of the blue. Um, it's still a tad darker than it was in the hangar, but uh, this is a pretty good match from the for the color in space. So I'm pretty happy with it. I might. Uh, give it a nice light coat of uh, uh, Tamiya transparent blue after giving it uh, some dull coat to seal it all in uh, to give it that kind of a shiny glow look and uh, more of a true blue hue to it. So I'm pretty happy with both builds so far and that's the update for today I think. Yeah, I have to let these cure before I go any further. I'm always tempted to go to the next step before it cures. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. I think everything that I have to do now with uh, masking and, uh, and dull coating all requires this stuff to cure up good. So until next time, this is the Heavy Metal Build Update.